Welcome back guys, so today we will be continuing data representation and computer arithmetic. So today we will be studying about floating point representation. So let me write something about it. So it is represented by two parts. Represented by two parts, namely mantissa and exponent. So, for example, it will be easy. So, suppose we have 485.71. So, we can write this as, we can shift the decimal place to here. So, this will be 0 0.48571 into 10 to the power 3. So, we have moved 3 digits. So, so this part here, right here, is the mantissa part. And the 3 here is the exponent. So in general we can write that, so in general the floating point representation can be written as plus minus m into r to the power plus minus e where m is the mantissa, e is the exponent and r is the radix or base. So suppose for more example like this we have one one so this can be written as one point one one into the power two so this one here right here is the hidden bit. If it is not given then we have to consider that before the decimal there is one always present. Suppose if it it is if the number is like this point one one. So we need to assume that here it is one. So this is the hidden bit and this is normalized representation which we will study in the next video lecture. So I will explain it properly there. So this was the representation from floating point representation. So thanks for watching it.